Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. Hi everyone, this is Matt with Learn About Law. In this video, we're going to talk about some recent changes to Iowa probate law in 2023. First off, let's go over the probate process in Iowa. If you have a will in the state, it will have to go through the Iowa probate courts to see if it's valid. If the court says it's good to go, your beneficiaries or heirs should receive the property you left for them according to your wishes. Now there have been some changes to the law. As of January 1st, 2022, the sliding scale fee for settling an estate has been eliminated. Instead, the probate court services fee will be based on the probate assets in the decedent's inventory. It's fixed at 0.2% of the total value of these assets. This only applies to probate cases filed in Iowa on or after January 1st, 2022, not to any cases filed before that date. What if you want to challenge a will in Iowa? Well, if you're the person or beneficiary who wants to contest the will, you'll have to prove to the court that it's not valid. The most common reasons for invalidating a will are lack of testamentary capacity or undue influence. So how long does probate take in Iowa? It can take anywhere from one to five years depending on if there's dispute among heirs, creditors get involved, or the will is deemed invalid. It's important to talk to a probate attorney to make sure everything runs smoothly. Why is a will important in Iowa probate matters? It's basically a document that lays out your last wishes for your heirs or beneficiaries. If you have children under the age of 18, you can name someone responsible for their care in your will. If you don't have a will, the court will have to step in and handle things, which can be stressful for everyone involved. Now, there are always ways to uh, avoid probate in Iowa. If you rent your home, own property in joint tenancy, or a trust, have life insurance or retirement accounts, or own property outside of the state, you can avoid probate. However, there may be increased taxes and costs, so proceed with caution. Well, that's a wrap for today's rundown on Iowa Probate Law 2023. If I didn't cover your question in this video, I urge you to check out the link in the description for more information. Like and subscribe if you find the content helpful and would like to see more. Leave any questions you have in the comments section, and I'll see you next time. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.